So for any of you that uh, were here last week, I guess, sometime last week, I had bought a two terabyte uh, solid state drive from Samsung, the T7 something, Shield, Shield, that's what it was. And uh, I got all kinds of bad, like read speeds, write speeds on two Macs, Windows computers, et cetera, et cetera. So needless to say, uh, I went to go take it back and see if I could do an exchange just to see if uh, it was the physical drive that was the issue and if I got a different one, if that would be better. But because I had bought it on Black Friday, um, there they were just out of stock. There was no, no Best Buys around that had one. So I returned it and uh, I ended up buying something cheaper because I needed something and this time of year can be hard to get anything. Uh, I bought something cheaper that should should do the trick and it's the crucial x6 so you can see it here online crucial x6 two terabyte it says its speed is up to 800 megabytes per second so uh that's plenty fast if i can get somewhere near that and i found with a mac um really the fastest i can really get is about 900 even if you're paying for more uh, but this is it this is it right here Right, is that focusing? There it is, right? That's it. It's a tiny, tiny box. You guys can see that right there. That's the whole thing. It is so like, it's it's so little, right? That's so tiny. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do a speed test just to see how it how it works. Okay, so Crucial X6. Now I have an X8 uh, and it's been fantastic. It's a lovely drive. Uh, that That is, the X8 is like, like narrower and taller um but this i think i think this will be good now I, what i don't seem to have here is uh anything to open this nope so uh well i'm using the good old pen that'll do it there we go so what comes in this tiny box so do they say anything now right now on amazon it's like 212 bucks i did buy mine from amazon as you can see here last purchased november 28th um, but, uh, it was on sale. It was like really on sale. So it was like 165 bucks. Oh, that is tiny. See when the pictures you're, you're thinking, oh, it's, it's going to be a deep, like it's hefty. Like that makes it look hefty. It's not, it is not. And USB-C to USB-C cable. You guys could see that, right? USB-C to USB-C, which is exactly what I need. Uh, little manual of some sort. And look how tiny that is. Right? Look how small that, and in your hand, that's it. Right there. Oh, that's fantastic for, for portability. Now it says, um, huge capacity. You can get them up to four terabytes and even the four terabyte, right? Well, right now it's $500. That's, that's still expensive, right? Uh, fast read speeds. It says reads up to 800 megs, uh, megabytes. I, it doesn't say, it doesn't say what write speeds are, which is a little concerning, but as long as it's enough for me to edit my 4K stuff, uh, broad compatibility, works with PC, Mac, Android, iPad, Pros, anything that requires uh, USB-C, I guess. Uh, it does say it does require a USB-A for those that are using it on a PS4, or Xbox, or anything like that, because you'll need it. You'll need an adapter. Reliable, yeah. Uh, but I am, I am, cons they don't, they don't say anywhere about, uh, right speeds, right? Nothing that I can see here, right speeds. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna find that out. Now it does say it is form factor. It says USB 3.2, right? Okay. Alrighty. Well, taking this, plugging this in right here. So I have to eject one of these drives. Let's eject you. And we're going to minimize some of you. There's black magic. I got it up already. And we'll use their cable because that's important. That's that's how big the cable is. Would have liked to have seen a bigger cable, but you know what? It is what it is. Everything there's it, everything there's tiny. Okay, plugging it in. And Crucial X6. So you can. I'll just drag it here. There it is. Crucial X6 comes up. Uh, it is, what does it have for specs on there? I'll bring that over here again. So it is, as you can see again, two terabyte. It's in X fat, which is fine. Let's come here, select target and 
Crucial X6 open. Let's see. All right, so I'm getting I'm getting 500 for right and 500 for read. 500 for right, 500 for read. So again, not getting near that 800, but it is fast enough for me to to do some work on. And really, um, I would have kept if I could have even got maybe this speed for the uh, Samsung T7 Shield, I probably would have kept it. But the fact is that the write speeds were 200, and that's we're knowing now this drive here, uh, which isn't really even classifying it is double if not maybe even triple the speed that I was getting off that shield drive uh, so uh, I paid way less money this is super small which is actually really nice for being a drive that I want for portability and being able to travel with um, yeah pretty consistent in and around that 500 right there I just get right I got 503 so yeah, I, I, I'm okay with it for the price. Like I said, it's $212 Canadian right now for two terabytes. Uh, I got it on Black Friday. It was down at 165 bucks. So um, I think for that price, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the speed. It says here that, you know, I'll be able to do um, 2160p, which is, you know, perfect. And uh, yeah, you can even do some 8K stuff, depending on if it's what, what resolution it's in, right? So... Or what what codec it's in so there you go guys about about 500 is what you're getting both read and write but it's it's constant so that's good all right that's the crucial crucial x6 it's way smaller than i thought it was going to be and that's great links down below if you guys are interested in this drive and uh i'm gonna leave you there like comment share subscribe hit the little notification bell and uh we'll see you tomorrow later